Sports here on WROI. We are joined this month by Krista. Good morning. Good morning. Now you are the marketing director, correct? I'm the chief marketing officer, so yeah, okay. same thing. Okay. I like yours better. <laughs> okay. Sounds, sounds more official <laughs> than just the marketing director. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome in, and uh, you're, you're a regular here, so you kind of know how this all yes, goes. Yes, I do. I know. Brad is in Florida in the warm weather, and um, hopefully he brings that back. I hope so. I know. <laughs> I need to send him a text, tell him to bring it back. Um, yeah. So yesterday we had our Board of Trustees meeting, and overall for the month, um, financially, we had a hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar operational loss and operational loss is what happens within the walls of the hospital and the clinics so that was that overall we have some other forms and revenues of income we had 140k for the month um, profit uh, volumes are up uh, january was brutal for us nobody wanted to come out in the cold yeah. so right nobody wants to come out and get blood work done in the cold or other services so um January, we had a really, really low month, but this month volumes are up both in inpatient and outpatient departments as compared to where we were last month. And overall, for we looked at where we were in 2023 to where we are in 2024, and we've seen an increase um, overall by patients. So that's always good to see more and more people using our health system. Um, projects, we have four new medical providers who will be joining us in the next several months, so we'll tell you more about each one of these, but I just wanted to list the services that we have because we have a new service coming. We have a podiatrist that will be starting with us within the next several months, so in the summer he'll be joining our team. Um, so all your foot ankle issues will be able to take care of that at one lawn. Um, we also are bringing an OBGYN on our team um, part-time, so as we all know, um, we've had a little lapse in that service line um, with some of the GYN services, so that will be coming this summer. We also have a physical assistant who will be joining Dr. Benefit. Um, and then we also have a nurse practitioner going out into Akron. As um, some of our audience may know, Dr. Cook will be finishing up and retiring from Woodlawn next week. Yeah. Um, so uh, right now we have a nurse practitioner going out to help fill that void. We are looking for a doctor. Um, it's hard to get a doctor to come to Fulton County, but we know that they can. Um, we've definitely seen that. So we're working to get a doctor into that Akron Clinic. The Akron Clinic is still open. We're still going to operate and run that um, program. So those are kind of some of the big projects that we have going on. But the biggest project that we have going on that I know Brad has been talking about with you is the electronic medical records. Yes. Currently, as many of you all know, when you come to the clinics, you have to sign into one system. We have a separate system for the hospital that creates many um, inefficiencies for our patients, many inefficiencies for our staff. So yesterday, the board voted that we can move ahead and get a new electronic medical records for the whole health system. So it will take us a whole year to implement and move everything over and all the um, data and systems. It's a big process, but we're excited that we're all going to go to one system and we aren't going to have to try to um, be working with two different systems. So that is exciting for us. Um, yes. It's going to be a big project, but we're excited for our team. Yeah, you know, sometimes uh, the biggest, longest projects are the ones that are most worth it because, I mean, this will help so many different things, uh, like if somebody, if a patient's coming to Woodlawn that's been somewhere else that had an electronic system, it, you know, sometimes, you know, to get those records, you had to go through a lot of hoops, and now it'll probably be a lot easier. It depends on the system, but in general, um, so some systems, yes, we still have to do release of medical records because of HIPAA. Right. But in general, some of the things we're going to be able to offer our community is online scheduling for some services. Mm -hmm. I know, we're excited about that. So online scheduling can be offered. Um, we're going to have kiosks at the hospital that you can now just go pay your bills. Um, so sometimes what we currently have somebody who mans that station, but if they get sick, go out to lunch or, you know, get pulled away from that station, it closes right. and it can cause some frustration for our community. We understand that. It's also hard because, you know, somebody needs to go have lunch or yeah, yeah. short staff, um, they get pulled from that area. So this will allow our, t um, our staff or our community to be able to pay their bill just walking into the hospital. Um, another um, operation that it has, um, so my my family and my family in Ohio, they the health system my dad goes to has this, and it's really nice because um, online you can see different tests and mm -hmm. you can schedule different things through an online portal as well. So and that will be for the whole 
system. So that will be really um, beneficial, I think, to the community for us. Yeah, I know. I'm one of those, uh, when it's time to call and make a doctor's appointment, I'm like, uh, do I really have to? <laughs> I, you know, I wish I could just schedule it online, but now we can be able yeah. to. Yeah, give us about a year, a little yeah. bit, and then we'll be able to schedule some things online. Some things we'll still keep control over. Right. Um, but in general, I, I always use this example as we've been transitioning for our team. Um, my dad had to have an appointment and I needed to be there. And um, my schedule's a little crazy sometimes, so trying to have him schedule it back and forth. So finally, I just said, okay. And we went online and I scheduled it for him. And I said, okay, you're gonna show up, we're gonna go this day. And it was yeah. a lot nicer, because I was doing it at eight, nine o'clock at night, right. compared to trying to fit it in during office hours, which for many people who work in office, that's also their time working as well. Yes. So yes. we're super excited about that. Um, we also are um, excited. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, those are um, a federal organization that oversees all healthcare, mm -hmm. um, and especially Woodlawn, and we have been asked to be a site visit for them. So they're going to come down from Chicago, the rural health, and they're going to um, use our maternity oasis as a learning ground to how they can help maternity care um, in the rural settings. As many people may know or not know, uh, across Indiana and across the country, rural hospitals are closing and some yes. of them to not close, and Woodland is not one of these, they, they've gotten rid of maternity care because of it not being profitable. So we have um, determined that we're going to keep that for our community and find ways to make that profitable for us. And um, because of that, we've won awards and now um, the federal government's coming down to, to, to look at how we're doing it. So that's to us a great honor yeah. um, that we get to be one of those sites and we can help um, advocate for those other um, organizations in our field that can be able to help um, rural hospitals keep maternity care uh, across, hopefully across this region and nation. So that's just really exciting to be leading the way in that. Absolutely. Um, last but not least, um, I did mention our, our OB Oasis. Um, if you have anybody who's expecting, we have, um, even though we don't have an OBGYN, we have a lot of doctors who can help take care of you during your pregnancy. So we have Dr. Ricketts and Dr. Sanders in Argus. We have Dr. Amadi and Dr. Witt here in, um, sorry, here in Rochester, and then Dr. Celia will be coming back in October. So we're still here to care for all of our community, and um, we're excited that we're able to offer that many doctors to our community as well. Um, and then we have Stephanie Waite. She is now seeing patients, so you'll see a lot of information out um, about her, but we've been putting out some ads and things, but she's open for business. She's in the Woodlawn Medical Professionals building. If you need a primary care doctor, she is wonderful. She has over 14 years of experience. Um, she came to us from Kokomo, so um, give her a call. And last but not least, chronic care management programs. We have partnered with some organizations. We are small. Yes. Um, <laughs> we can't do. We try to do everything, but there's some things we need help with. Right. right. So we have um, chart span. Um, yeah who have for our Medicare plans and our Medicare replacement plans, they're making some phone calls just to make sure everybody's getting the mammograms, they're getting all the testing, uh, to make sure that we're providing the best patient care. It's a voluntary program, but if you're giving those calls, yes, it's us. We, <laughs> it's not a scam, we promise. Um, and if you have any questions, call back to, the, to your doctor. Um, they're aware of what's happening and they can help you navigate that. It's a great program though to make sure you're getting all those tests because how many of us forget? I'm totally guilty yeah, at this, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> to get all those those diagnostic testing done. And last but not least, uh, marketing, right? That's the best thing ever. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, we our website we're always working on and then we um, are also doing anything on social media. So come check us out. And yeah, that's pretty much what we've been up to this month. All right. Well, Krista, thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your day, filling in for Brad, and uh, I'll let you get back to work, and maybe we can both get a cup of coffee along with Johnny and kind of wake up a little yes. bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so yes. much. Bye.